Monday test turns out I'm a hundred percent damn even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got boy problems, that's the human in me. Bling, bling, then I saw them, that's the goddess in me. You put a little bad, not a middle. Tell me what you call real, you just a little. You press the homie down, but you holding me back. And that's the sound, I mean, I'm calling you back. Why I'm in right until they gotta be right. Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Best friends, let me down in the salon chair. Share a little press, get you out of my hair. Fresh flow with all the bottom lighting. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. True first nigga, something more exciting. I'll be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Try to break my heart? Oh, that breaks my heart. That you thought you ever had it? No, you ain't from the start. Hey, I'm glad you're back with me. Tell me who would wanna hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your sidekick. I put the sting in single. Ain't worried about a ring on my finger. So you can tell your friend. Okay, guys, so I just finished the exhibit. It was amazing. I took a few shots for you guys. So you guys can see if you're in the city, be sure to get tickets to come. I'm not sure how long it's going to be here for. I'll find out and I'll put it in the description box, but it was everything. I tried to get someone to take some video of me because I came by myself. But I have to see how it looks. I'm not sure I like it. But yeah, it's very interesting to like learn the backstory of some of these artists, especially but especially Basky. I loved it. A lot of back history on him, a lot of videos of his family and how they personally knew him, as opposed to how us the public knew us. Yeah, I'm just walking to my car. Hopefully I can find it because I have honestly I'm just gonna go around the corner until I get back to where I came from. Anyway. So let me get back to my car. Pray that it's there because honestly you come in the city, you know there's a million and one signs and they mean a million different things. So pray my car is there. I'll see you guys when I get there. While I'm here, I figured when I shoot some pictures, since I'm here, I wanted to go to this magazine shop that is called Costa Magazines. They have a lot of archival magazines, and fashion magazines, niche magazines. So I wanted to go see what they have. I'm looking for a specific Vogue issue, uh, the black issue. I think it was Vogue Italia, though I think, and also the Vogue that Rihanna's on right now. So I'm gonna see if I can make it there. To find a parking, if not, I'll just go back home. Wish me luck, guys. Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Best friends, let me down in the salon chair. Share a little press, get you out of my hair. Fresh mold us with the ball of lighting. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. True first need is something more exciting. I'll be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. So I found a parking, guys. Hold on. I'm trying to cross this. Cobblestone. We're perfect. So as you can see guys, I got my magazine. I got two issues of the Rihanna Bowl cover and I got an architectural digest cover. I will show you guys in a minute. Let me make sure I'm not about to get ran over. Hold on. about to get ran over all right guys i'm gonna head home and i will see you guys when i get there okay 
guys. I am home. I am popped down. Well popped down. I just want to show you guys the magazines that I got. Since I'm here really quick. So I'm pretty sure I told you guys I was in the city when I almost got ran over by a cab. I was able to get two issues of the Rihanna Vogue cover. And I also got an Architectural Digest. I'm just going to turn the camera around and just show you guys. So here you can see... This is the Oh Baby, her plus one cover. Got two of those because I'm sorry, these are going to be collector's items as far as I'm concerned. Rihanna Pregnant, yes. Then I got this Architectural Digest uh, because I like the cover and I like to use them as coffee table books. I have like, one with Beyonce, a Vogue, on my coffee table. So I'm thinking about adding this to it as well. It is, I don't even know where it's because it's not in English maybe it's Italy or Spain I can't really see because it's small and I'm just I'm too tired to figure it out right now honestly but the cover was really nice obviously I can't read the inside because I don't speak <laughs> whatever this is it's probably Spanish it looks like it's from Spain it's not French it doesn't look like French but yeah so yeah guys, I'm about to just take off my clothes, eat and relax for the rest of the evening. I am so pooped. The traffic to come home was disgusting. Like the city was actually fine. It was the Jersey side of the tunnel that wiped me out completely. So I didn't eat all day. <sighs> so I'm going to end today's vlog here and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I'm back. Now I'm about to run to the mall really quick because there are a pair of shorts that I saw in Zara, denim shorts that I really, really like and it'll be good to just pair with anything for the summer. I want to go and take a look at them and then I'm going to go to the park. I just want to sit out in the grass and nature some more and that's going to be my day. I may or may not take you guys to the park with me. I kind of just want to be alone. And yeah, so I will see you guys when I get to the mall. But let me just show you guys what I'm wearing today, which is, again, really casual. My trench from Terje. This romper is from, or jumpsuit, I should say, is from, I don't even remember, probably h and like 50,000 years ago. I wore this plenty of times in my vlog. And then just my Birkenstocks, and I'm just going to wear my Rebecca Minkoff bag to go with it. My Elisa Johnson Sunnies. My hair is back in a ponytail. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get to the mall. Hey guys, I'm back. So I just want to show you what I got from Zara. I got the one thing that I said I was going to go get. And it is these denim shorts. They're really cute. They're like a flat pocket in the back. I got a size 8 just because I wasn't sure if the 6 was going to be too tight. I don't want them to be tight. I want them to be more of like a, like a fit fit, not skin tight. I don't like that. I don't want to be uncomfortable. This with some the little heels. I could dress these up or down with a nice button up, an oversized button up. Um, even with sneakers, if I wanted to make it like really, really casual. I didn't try them on, so hopefully they fit well. So then I went into Bloomingdale's just to see what fragrances they had, if they had anything new, or just to smell some things I haven't smelled before. So I was directed to a brand by the name of Thomas Cosmala. 
So the type of scents that this perfumer creates are more like molecular fragrances and scents. If you're not familiar with the more of the molecular fragrances and scents, those are the fragrance enhancers. A lot of people layer them with their fragrance to more so enhance it or to make it project more. Or just sort of adds a little bit more oomph to your fragrance. So she had me try on, I think, a number 7 and a number 10. The number 10 I loved. It's stronger. Like, it's more of a oomph to it. She gave me a sample of it so I can try. And I'm wearing it now, and it's mm, it smells so good. The dry down is more like a, I'm not going to say necessarily masculine scent, but it's not a girly, feminine, fruity, rosy scent at all. It's definitely layered to it. The number seven, if that's the correct one that I believe she had me smell as well, it's a little bit more citrus. It has like bergamot in it. And when you smell it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I know they carry it in Bloomingdale's, um, Harrods. I'm not sure where else he carries it, but I like the fact that this line is not everywhere where it's like mass consumed. I went on YouTube to look it up and I didn't see many videos on it. And if anything, I couldn't find anyone that was reviewing number 10. So I'm going to wear it and sample it and just to see like how my body reacts to it, especially when I layer it with other fragrances. And then if I love how it wears, which so far I'm loving it, then I'll put it on my wish list. So, and they did tell me that he was going to be coming to Bloomingdale's, that specific location, in June. So I'm going to see if I'm home, if I can go and meet him and just talk a little bit. I let her know that I vlog, if it's okay. And she said she'll definitely introduce me to the perfumer when he comes. So I'm excited about that. And if I'm in town when he comes, I'm definitely going to take you guys along with me. So yeah, that's all I pretty much got while I was out. And then I went to the park, laid out for a little bit. I don't even remember. Did I record anything? I don't think I recorded much. I just needed to be zen with nature so i just did a little me time and yeah that's one i'm gonna find something to eat and i'm gonna chill and then i will talk to you guys later so, bye.